Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study in my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Tour Drift because there has been a big update. They have fixed all the bugs. There's some new cars, new tracks, and some big things happening. So, big thank you to Tour Drift for this update. So, today they did shoot me a message then telling me that there was a, currently a live tournament at Ebizu. We're here to take a look at the tournament aspect of this. It is still in beta. They did want me to mention that to you guys. It's still in beta, so they're still working on it. So it may not be perfect yet, but we have tournaments. So we're going to hop into a tournament right away, and then we'll get into some of the other aspects of the update. But I feel like uh, we're going to jump right into a tournament, see how she goes, and see what we can do. I feel like we're going to rock. We're going to rock our uh, E46 for today. Trying to adjust my audio levels so looks like we're in a pre-stage waiting for other drivers but we can get a chance to uh, send it and test it while we wait which is pretty a pretty cool thing so we are waiting for other uh, other players it looks like we got five of eight Hopefully we can find some other players and actually get into a tourney and uh, see what this whole tournament is about here on Torque Trip. We got six of eight. So uh, just waiting for two more. Looks like two more players and then we should be able to get right into uh, starting this off. So it is kind of cool that they allow us to just uh, drift around while we wait. And we do have eight players, so we are going to go into a tournament. We got 57 seconds till the tournament starts. First tournament here on Tour Trip on the update at the new Ebizu track. We are rocking an old car. We did get a bunch of new cars here on this update, but since the tournaments are in beta, so they're not happening all the time, um, definitely wanted to hop on and get in one because, uh, well, they're here. First tournament, let's go. So hopefully we can uh, do good and uh, we don't completely screw up. It does feel like the game is running a little bit smoother recently, actually. Ever since that day, I'm not sure what they... Oh, we lost somebody? No! Darn it. We were almost there. 14 seconds. Alright. Tournament. Torque Drift. First one. Let's see how this works. Hopefully we can uh, come out with a good... Maybe a good place finish. We are rocking the 46 car I'm very comfortable in. So, um... Drift time. So it looks like we got... A bunch of people here. It is a bracket style. This is sweet. So it looks like we are in a bracket. We're going to be going against him. Oh boy. This is going to be a bit of a rough run, it looks like, probably. <laughs> we may get knocked out in the first round. Hopefully we don't. But if we do, we'll try and hop into another tournament. If it lets us, just got to get a solid lead run here. Get all of our clips. So if you guys have been messing around on the new Ebizu track, what do you guys think about it? I think it's actually pretty sweet. It feels uh, feels very cool. It's very uh, slower car friendly and uh, very technical friendly. So I'm quite happy with this lead run at the moment. Didn't bounce around too much on those little bumps and whoops and jumps. Let's see what we got comparative to uh, TM here in round one of the first tournament here. Super excited to have tournaments in Torque Drift. Tandem battle tournaments, it's definitely a cool thing. I was super excited when I heard that they were gonna be doing this and having a new track, I would do even better. So, looks like he got this qualified, so we're gonna get a quick advance on. Quick advance on to the next round, it looks like. Quick, easy round one win. I mean, I'll take it. Looks like we are on the higher end. Looks like we're around the higher end of the point scoring for this escape plan route here on uh, the tournament. So that's good news. We're uh, 
advancing on to the next round. So this is something I've been waiting to see here in the game, and it's here. Tournaments are here. Something that's going to make this game so much better. And look, you went 12k if you win first round. I mean, that's pretty sweet. So I got 42 without a chase. So I'm kind of uh, kind of feeling a little bit okay with this E46 run. Now, are we going to change cars around or? Do we continue using our E46? So we're going into run two. It's, why did it switch cars on me? All right, kind of confused on why it switched cars. Was I supposed to change car? Did it change automatically? Did I did I make a mistake? But it's like we're rocking out with Collindale's car for this one. Not sure why I changed cars, but we can make this, we can make this worthwhile just like we did the last run. Luckily I've, uh, driven his car enough in this game to uh, understand the characteristics and the physics of the car. Probably not as good of a lead run as my E46 because we missed that final clip. So not the best lead run. Wish I would have had my E46 because we're at a bit of a deficit now. So I think we're going to lose this. So unfortunately, not sure why it switched cars on us. Hopefully we can get a maybe a solid chase and still come out with a win. Just gonna try and suck as close as I can to this man's door. Just like that. And just run the chase as best I can. To try to make up that lead point deficit. I mean I will definitely take a 28,000 point chase attacking the front bumper on that wall though at the end but was it enough to take the win it was not enough just barely took a took a loss on there but i wasn't sure why i wasn't able to run my e46 so gonna enter in another tournament and see how that works fortunately oh wait i still won i'm confused so is it continuing points throughout the entire event? Is that how this goes? Are we gonna advance? So if we lose that battle, we still have our point totals. Is that how this works? We do advance, so that's how this works. And we do have our E46 back. Did it, I wonder why it changed cars on me last time. Maybe because of the zero run on the one run before, but we're in the semis, so. It's all or nothing now, first tournament. So I think it adds the point totals up and that's how you continue to go. So let's see if we can get another solid lead run with our E46 and kick it in. Make sure we get all of our clips, as many points as we can on our lead because it looks like we need as many points as possible on lead and chase to win this tournament. And that's the lead I was looking for. That's kind of similar to the lead I had last time. Wasn't as high, wasn't in the 40s, but 38,000, good enough for me. He was in the 40s, so we have to do a very solid chase. So I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out for the first tournament here in the Torque Drift game. Not how I wanted to enter in there. Gotta try and stay as close as I can to him. Because many of those very crucial chase points, that's not gonna help me in my uh, tournament aspect. So, not the best chase run. I think I may have choked it. Ah, uh, we'll see what the, see how this turns out. Oh man. So I barely lost that, but am I going to win the overall because of point totals? I'm not sure. So I'm not sure how this works. I think it just adds everything up throughout the tournament. And it's not like win or lose battle. Which is kind of cool because if you lose the battle, then you have the chance. No, we did not. So the final run is actually by battle. Unless it added my totals because of... Maybe because he disqualified and I didn't get a chance to have a chase. 
So we took second in our first tournament, tournament runner up. So we're gonna try this one again. And uh, we're gonna switch it up to, to my S15. And see if we can find another tournament for the S15. Looks like we got six of eight. And it looks like we're going to be able to get right into another tournament. Not the highest power car here, but my S15 is a very stable car. We need to run fourth here. So like I said, it's very cool that we get the chance to uh, run the cars beforehand. And with this just being in beta, I mean, it's, it's very, very well done for just being... Uh, you know the beta stages of these tournaments i can't can't you know wait to see how they're going to change it how they're going to make it better we just need one more player to start this tournament up but we're just freestyling here at the ebizu track you know getting a full look at this track you know because there's so many tight lines that we can run so many you know different combinations of runs and such like that there's some jumps we can take and stuff Earth drops. So definitely super excited to see this track here in the game. Oh, full tap, just tap. But like I said, tournaments a big thing. We're we're in it now. It's a second in our first tournament. Now we're in our second one. Oh, you can move the brackets around. All right. Oh boy, Straya. I know this man. Oh, this is definitely going to be a uh, a tournament to uh, to go for. Some some big players here in this tournament. So, 912 horsepower in this S15. Run next and tires. Waiting for our opponents to load in. I thought we were going to have an easy win. Straya, Notorious, definitely know this man. Real big in the Torque Trip game. Battled him once or twice, and uh, he's definitely one of those competitors where you got to be on top of your game. I can see him running these tournaments all the time and just getting even more and more insane point values. So, we're going to try our best to get a very good lead run because that's really what makes or breaks the points totals is that lead run 35 i don't think that's gonna be enough to beat straya but it might be no it is not so we're gonna have to bang an insane chase this is these tournaments are hard i can definitely tell you now there's gonna be a lot of big players in these tournaments and a lot of high-end drivers so definitely a good way to uh Enhance your skills is drifting in these tournaments. Oh, that is not the right way to start this. And nope. I choked. The pressure got to me. So we're going to probably switch back to the E46 and uh, try and run the tournament again. GG, Straya. GG, sir. I kind of choked. <laughs> The tournament, the tournament shakes Yasumi. The GG to him, unless he hit, unless he made a mistake on his chase, which he did not. He took that win. Huge uh, congratulations, to that man. Probably hoping he uh, probably takes that tournament win because it's always good if you lose a, lose in the round, you lose to the person that wins. It's always the best thing. So, tournaments. Super excited for this. Can't wait. To you know, see some of you guys in the tournaments, and uh, we're just gonna back out. Hopefully, I didn't freeze my game. Looks like I may have. So don't back out of tournaments. Oh no, nope, we're good. Wait, what did I do? I don't want to report a bug. We're good. So I think we're gonna go back to the U46. Definitely some uh, 
glitching going on right now but they did say it was in beta so we're gonna try see quickly trying to get into one more tournament for this episode in our e46 a lot of people are gonna be rocking these tournaments like i said and they're gonna be hard um my first one wasn't too bad just doing some uh, donuts here second one took a loss in the first round super uh super solid driver stria is and uh i've seen him battled him before and he's a super solid tandem driver so he's uh definitely one of the ones i would have been glad to lose to <laughs> but so we're gonna see if we can get into another tournament and uh then we'll take a look at probably some of the other things that are in the game but tournaments super excited Turk drift dropping a banger update they had some issues with it in the beginning but they worked on it real quick to get the update fixed get the logins fixed you know great support from those guys and you know people were saying hey they're having login issues and they fixed it right away so you know just goes to show you what kind of guys torque drift are that they were just they were on it right away wanted to fix what was going wrong with it so that they could uh get everybody back into the game and sideways for these tournaments and uh I think we're gonna wait and see if we can't get into another one so I guess I will see you guys once we get in with eight people and get into a tournament rather than sitting here watching me slide around in Ebizu so we're waiting for two more and then uh, we're gonna hit the grid all right final tournament here for today and uh, looks like we got Daigo Saito down there so the tournaments are gonna cost a lot of money it looks like two thousand dollars to start but if you win, it's worth it. So definitely going to be retuning my cars here for Ebizu and stuff like that. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll find the description box below. And for this game, you know, this is amazing. It's a big update. The devs did say that the tournaments are kind of in beta. So there might be some bugs, but I haven't really uh, seen anything that's super buggy or anything that makes these tournaments, you know, you know unplayable or anything so they've done a very good job with these tournaments for them being just in uh beta phase a little uh, wall tap at the end hopefully that didn't screw up points too much it kind of uh you know so that's thirty three thousand. so we do have the lead going this final tournament and uh hopefully maybe we can come out with a win we did uh we did loot you know come in second in the first tournament and then uh you know get knocked out around one in the next tournament so hopefully we can do good in this final tournament here for today's episode and then there's a lot of big things that came on this update we got a bunch of new cars new pro cars and stuff like that and i did save a bunch of crates so we are going to do a crate build on some of the new cars ow we kind of just smacked into each other on the wall there hopefully it didn't screw up my tournament for this run hopefully we're still able to take the win on this one we did we took the win we're gonna advance to the next round so like i said saved up some crates definitely gonna be doing a crate build on one of the new cars because we got a bunch of new cars in this game here on this update super excited for all the new content and all the new cars especially the new track happy zoo kind of a fun track and i have to retune some cars for the bumps and the jumps so i want to know why it's changed to my E46 in that one. I don't want to hit back, but I don't know why it got rid of my E46. Wait, how did I get knocked out? Wait a minute. I'm confused. So, I feel like that's one of the little bugs they're talking about. I'm sure they'll get that fixed because somehow I got knocked out even though I took the win on that one kind of confused on that but i think that'll do it here for this episode here on torque drift first look at tournaments a little buggy but they're gonna fix it so like i said we did get a bunch of new cars and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you guys follow me on twitter and instagram as always i'll see you guys next time